hell is taking so long? What's so difficult about signing a couple of papers? The next time I call, I want to hear that the check's in the mail, and you'd better mean it. Bad news? <laughs> like you didn't know. You told me that you would take care of having the investigation into Henry's death closed. My wife spoke to the police in D.C. She told them a mistake had been made and that under further scrutiny, your husband's death was indeed an accident. Now it's in their hands. I've done everything I can. You had better pray that it's enough, because if I don't get that money... <gasps> Shut up. <sighs> and by the way, I talked to a lawyer. There's no way you're going to be able to bring me in as an accessory after the fact. And the whole extortion thing, just try making that stick from a jail cell. You do know that I will do whatever it takes to protect my family. You know that, right? You wave that family flag around like it's something special. Oh, the way you guys stick up for each other and love each other till the end. I thought your wife was going to take my head off. You're lucky she didn't. And that's what parents do when you mess with their children. <laughs> Not my parents. Just make sure I get the damn money, okay? Because if I don't, all that precious family together, and this is not going to save you. One more I'm time. One more time. It's out of my hands. You need to be patient. I don't have time to be patient. I need that money right now. You've been saying that all your life. Daddy? What are you doing here? I came to see you. Shall we? You still enjoy your martinis. I'm grieving. It helps. I doubt that your grieving period lasted much longer than it takes to pop a cork. You and Mother didn't even come to Henry's funeral. Why would we? He married you for our money, and you married him because you were bored. Brett, I disappointed you once again. I'm used to it, but here is your chance to impress me. You're going to get off your designer backside and get a job. Uh, you want me to get a job? Well, what kind of work would I do exactly? I mean, yes, I dazzled at cotillion. I can ribbon at horse shows, and I know when to say pardon me instead of excuse me. But, Daddy, I don't really think any of that qualifies as resume material. Somewhere under the alcohol and the self-absorption, there's a brain. I think if you put your mind to it, you can find a career. You're cutting me off. Hmm? Don't go to your mother. She's with me on this. Fine. I don't need you. I am smart. I'll find a way to come up with my own money. The drink is still full, so you can't be upset because you need another drink. My father, uh, he just cut me off. And the insurance company hasn't paid. Well, if you sell some of that jewelry you got, you may survive for a couple of months. Oh, yeah. Yeah, make a joke. You know, if your wife had killed my husband, I wouldn't be in this position. Hey, hey, relax. Your father helped her. Your mother interfered with the investigation. Your family has ruined my life. Hey, I'm sorry that you're having a bad time, but there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, like hell there isn't. If you want to keep that hooker wife of yours out of jail, forget the insurance for now. You deliver some cash. Personally. 